We're going to look at solving some problems that involve prisms and cylinders. So I have two prisms here. I have a rectangular prism over here, and I have a triangular prism here. And here's going to be the scenario. Let's say the volume of these two prisms are identical. So if we know the volume of these two prisms are identical, what would the height need to be in this rectangular prism so that it has the same volume as this one? Well, let's, if, if this prism here has the same volume as this one, why don't we find out what the volume of this is? Because we have all the pieces that we need here. So volume is area of base multiplied by the height. Now in this case, the area of the base is a triangle. And then this triangle has been multiplied by this height to get to the same triangle on this side. So the area of the base is a triangle. And we know that that's base times height divided by 2 multiplied by the height of this prism. So the base of this triangle is 12. The height of this triangle is 9. And I'm going to divide that by 2. And then I've got to multiply that by the actual height of this object, which is 18. So that's 12 times 9 divided by 2 times 18. So the volume would be 972. So that's the volume of this, this prism, 972 centimeters cubed. So now looking at this shape here, the rectangular prism, we know that the volume of it will be equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all the pieces I know. I actually know what the volume is. It's 972 centimeters cubed. So I can put that number where V is, because that is the volume. The area of the base, the base of this is a rectangle. And so that's going to be length times width, or 6 times 5. Then I have to multiply it by the height, which I don't know. I don't know what H is. But I do know that 6 times 5 is 30. So in other words, 30 times something equals 972. So if I want to find out what h is, now since I have 30 times h, I'm going to divide both sides by 30 to isolate my h. Now I'm going to go to the calculator. 972 divided by 30 is 32.4. So I know that the height of this triangular prism must be 32.4 centimeters. Not centimeters squared, not centimeters cubed, but just centimeters, because I'm just finding one side length, h. So 32.4 centimeters. So there's one problem that you might see and be expected to find. Find a missing dimension when we happen to know what the volume is. Let's look at another example. So here we have a pipe. The pipe is two meters long and it's hollow in the middle. This is, this is, um, this is a hole in the middle. It's like a, it's a culvert, we call it, so water could pass through the, through the pipe. The outside radius of the pipe is 20 centimeters, and the inside radius of the pipe is 16 centimeters. So we could say this little part here is 4 centimeters. But what we want to know is we want to know how much concrete, we'll say it's a concrete pipe, how much concrete is, re concrete is required to, um, to make up this pipe. Well. If I found the volume of the outside part, so say I started with the volume of this outside part, 
and found the whole volume as, as if the whole thing was full of concrete. In other words, there wasn't a hole down the middle. So I found the volume of the whole thing and then subtracted the volume of this inside part, that would tell me what area is left. So the volume total is going to equal, I'll call that volume of the outside minus the volume of the inside. And that would give me how much concrete is needed to to make all of this part and all of this. So let's find the volume of the outside first. So this is a cylinder. So the area of the base multiplied by the height. The base would be a circle. And we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared times. Now then multiplied by the height. So the circle on the end here has a radius of 20. Okay, so then the area of that circle should be pi times 20 squared there's 20 centimeters radius here. Then I got to multiply it by the height. Now don't just put 2 here because notice how this is in meters and this is in centimeters. We got to make sure that our units are the same. So if this is 20 centimeters. I'm going to make this 200 centimeters because 2 meters is the same thing as 200 centimeters. Now I can go to the calculator and figure this out. So pi times 20 squared times 200 is 251,327 now what were my decimals 251327.41 centimeters cubed that was the volume of the outside part, so as if this whole thing was filled with solid concrete. Let's find the volume of the inside. Well, that would be the area of the base multiplied by the height. The base would be a circle, so now just to show you, I'm finding this green part here. This is the area of the in volume of the inside part. So this would be a circle. Again, pi times r squared for the circle, multiplied by the height. So the radius of the inside piece, though, here is 16. And the height of this is, again, 200. So pi times 16 squared times 200 is 160.849 decimal 54 centimeters cubed. So now I can go back to my original plan here, which was to find what the question was asking. The volume of concrete used to make the hollow pipe would be the volume of the outside. Volume of the outside, which is 251327.41 minus the volume of the inside, because that's actually air. I think my screen's on its last legs. It keeps jittering there on the right side. Oop, how do I stop that? Go away. There we go. So now let's subtract these two. Two, five, one, three, two, seven, point four, one, minus this number here, 160.849, so I'm just going to go answer, oops, hold on, answer, so 90,477.87, 
So this would be the volume of, or the amount of concrete that would be required to make a hollow pipe that has a radius of 20 on the outside and a radius of 16 on the inside. You would need 90,477.87 centimeters cubed worth of concrete to build a pipe that's two meters long. So those are some of the problems that you might be expected to solve working with prisms and cylinders.